Hello guys, so in today's workout, I'm going to start with low push press. I'm going to try to get 4 sets of 5 with 100, 105 kilos in the lock. So let's see how that would go, right? After that, I'm going to use a landmine to do some push press to train for the Viking press event in the competition. Uh, for my accessories today, I have squats, 3 sets of 10 in total, lots of volume with 140, 150, maybe 160 kilos on the bar. Finish it with some pull-ups and core. Let's see how it goes. This is how I like, this is how I like to warm up for the log. Do it some pickups. Practice picking up the log. We're focusing on the leg drive. This lock weighs about 50 kilos. It makes it easier for me to warm up on it. In previous time when I'm training stromal gyms, they have like similar locks but much heavier, like 80 kilos. So you're basically warming up on a barbell or general warm up before you get on the lock. With this one, I have the chance to actually practice on lower weights before I get to my walking sets. So, people, let me give you a tour to my gym. This is basically that corner over there of the garden. It's the gym. We built the platform with my dear friend Haralambos. Put some sand on the floor to make the ground even. We got the log, we have the pads, we have the sandbags for my stroma training. I also got a gazebo recently because it rains a lot, a lot in London and that cover ups covers me up when it raining when it when it's raining uh, this is a cover for the log all right and that's basically my house guys that's my back garden that you all seen this is literally the living room and that's when I'm going to train from Cerberus, basically have some plastic pads on it and it helps with holding the lock closer to you, basically it grips on the t-shirt and that's a slide off you as you clean the, in the lock, it really helps with more stability during the lift, it also helps with uh, sandbag lifting, stones, anything that has to do with carrying things in front of your body, so that's a nice t-shirt, I would definitely recommend it if you can get it for your stroma training. Let me share with you some of the exercises I'm using to get stronger on my push movements like the log, 
or the landmine press. My line of thinking before choosing an exercise for the plan I'll be doing for 4 weeks is how is this exercise gonna help me do better at the movements I'm competing at? Which muscle groups are involved in the movement and how can I target them with different exercises? Which muscles gets burned out first and is limiting me for doing more reps in the competition movement? For example, for the landmine press, I am using my full body starting from the legs up to push the bars overhead. This movement looks similar to the push press, which is one of the main movements in the program. On a second note, the triceps and shoulders are the muscles that fatigue first from locking the weight overhead. Therefore, I am spending a good time of my training doing skull crushes, tricep pushdowns and shoulder press. For my leg strength, I'm relying solely on the squats in which I'm doing high reps to promote strength endurance on the 60 second frame for the events in the competition. Doing sets of 10 on the squats feels like an endless battle. A trick I'm using to make it feel easier than what it is is to break down the set into smaller sets of 3 and 2. In this way, I trick my body into doing the whole set of 10 but in smaller pieces, which feels easier mentally to complete. I would like to thank everyone that follows me into this journey. More training videos coming with more strongman tips and lifting. See you in the next one.